On this weekend's prayer, we're gonna be renewing the grout on this bathtub. This is the same bathtub that we were working on last weekend. I got that video on the iCard. This is the, la the last. Uh, what is that? This is the last project. The last project that I have planned on this bathroom before we go ahead and I give you a transformation tour of this bathroom. The before and after pictures are crazy and spoiler alert, it is insane. It is very budget friendly and I cannot wait until I share that video with you. But let's focus on this one. I mentioned last week, this grout is making my eye twitch. It's very yellow right now and all. I just want to make it fresher, renew, so everything looks beautiful and like brand new. That's my goal in life. I did my research and I got two products that we're gonna be trying and you're gonna like come along with me in this journey. I got the Grout Renew from Polyblend and I got the Grout Pen. I'm gonna be reviewing both of these products and I'm gonna let you know which one I think works better for this project. Hopefully one of them will work and we can get this done. If one of these work or both of them work, I will link them down below so you can access them. Enough rambling, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the video. Let's do it! Okay, we're gonna start by cleaning our tile very very well we need to like get all that soap scum out of the tile i got this rejuvenate uh, soap scum remover it worked really well and i really like the smell of it now we're gonna let it dry it overnight and then the next day we're gonna be able to start our project okay we're gonna start trying this one first let's see how it goes Okay, these uh, instructions just say that it's easy to use and we just need to shake it, push and apply. Seems fairly easy. So if I can get it open. Yeah. So we're gonna shake it. Shake it real good. Let's talk a little bit about the grout pen. The grout pen is water-based, non-toxic, low odor, anti-mold formula, precision applicator, and says that it covers up to 60 meters. Um, I don't know how true is that. It is fast drying. I found that with this method, you will need to do two coats, at least if your grouts are as yellow, 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 as mine were. In order to do two coats, you will need to wait an hour and then you can reapply. And if you have any excess, you can remove it with a damp towel. Over here, I'm just putting a little bit of tape because I thought that the grout renew method was going to be more messy, but it is not. You don't need the tape. Um, I'm going to be talking to you about the grout renew product and also about one of the methods, the first method that I did. I did three methods because I wanted to provide you guys with the most efficient one. Um, the first method that I did, I just grabbed a toothbrush, I spread the grout renew product on the grout, very messy, on that whole wall. I let it dry, then I took a damp sponge, I wipe it, I didn't scrub it, I just wipe it to make that um, excess on the tile a little bit looser, and then after that I just scrape it, and it was very easy to scrape with a plastic scraper. One piece of advice I want to give you guys is just get the painter's plastic and put it on the top. You decide to go with the scraping method. Whenever you're scraping, all that, uh, all that excess will get into that plastic. And then at the end, you're not going to have to clean up as much as if you didn't have the plastic. Okay. Let's leave this dry for a little bit and then we're gonna continue. I already put all that part, it was like super easy and quick. 
So, Gangrout, Ralpen, another one. Okay, let's talk about the Grout Renew product from Polyblend. These two products have very similar claims. This one says that this is an all-in-one color and sealer, and that is a cure sealer is mold and mildew resistant, and it is very fast drying and a bunch of other stuff that I'm not gonna read. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that I got this on Arctic White. It is the color. As you can see, it is gray. For us, it worked out well. <laughs> we were happy because we were between white and gray. And we decided to go with white because we thought that it was going to be the safer option. But then when, I, when we saw the gray, we really loved it. So it worked out fine for us. But if you want white, Polyblend offers a bright white option. Another day, another fresh me. I needed to stop yesterday because I had another project that I needed to work on for my sister-in-law, shameless plug here. Go visit the Mofoloco if you're around the DFW area. Continuing with this project, I am really excited. It's working out. We're renewing this grout and it's looking awesome. We're gonna finish it today. The products are good and I'm really happy with the finish and all the magic that is happening. Right now, the method that I'm gonna try, this is the second method that I'm gonna try for the polyblend. It's gonna be with a paintbrush. I just wanna try it to see if it works better than just doing it the other way, which I thought that it was okay, but let's see. Let's see which one is better. Let's just jump right into it. Okay, let's talk about the second method. Here I'm taking a really fine tip paintbrush and I'm trying to apply the product into the grout without making a big mess. I wanted to see if we took our time in advance rather than just applying it messily was going to be quicker. It is not. First of all, I think with the toothbrush, it applies better and more evenly. With the paintbrush, since it has very, very soft bristles, it doesn't apply evenly, so it seems like it needs another coat. Here, I'm just trying to wipe it off as they advise on the bottle. As you can see, I just did this line, this small section here, and the first one is not coming off, it's already dry. And then over there, it is coming off, but it is coming off from the grout too, and we don't want that. So I didn't like this uh, wiping method and working fast because you're still gonna have to scrape it and it's not efficient at all. Okay guys, I got it. I got the method that we're gonna use. It's the quickest, it's the easiest, and it's the most efficient one. The finish is perfect, so this one is the one that we're using. What you wanna want to do is you're gonna grab a toothbrush, right? And you're gonna grab the poly blend here. You're gonna put it on a plastic container like this one or whatever you have, like you can like just put the poly blend. You're gonna like get the poly blend on the toothbrush and then after that you're gonna start spraying it. You're gonna spray it towards the whole thing, just like go at it. And then after that, what you're want, gonna want to do is you're gonna like wet a magic eraser, like not that it's like soaking wet, but you know, that it's like kinda like damp and you're gonna like go and try to like take as much as you can with this and then you're gonna like get this thing or your fingernail <laughs> and you're gonna just scratch whatever, it just like comes right off. I did this whole while, it's already like drying and we just gonna like clean after we finish everything. So we got our method down, let's do this. This is very convenient. This product is like super convenient. It's very easy to like uh, put, it's quick. It has a good finish. I find the finish as good as the poly blend. I think the poly blend looks like grout. It doesn't look like you did anything. Like it looks like 
just the grout. So I really enjoy that. This works perfect. It's very convenient, very good. But this is A99 and this runs out very quick. You need to do two coats on this if you want that like very wide, like good coverage. To like cover all that yellow, you need to do two coats. Make the math and in order to do this whole bathtub, the whole thing, just using this, it's gonna cost around 140 bucks. So I think that is like ridiculous and this is a no for me, just based on that. Now we talk about the Grow Renew. The Grow Renew was like super easy to use. It takes a little bit more time. This runs around like 13 bucks, I think. And it's very easily accessible. I really enjoy using this one. I would recommend you, if you wanna like do this project, to just go get the Grow Renew from Polyblend and this one is gonna work very good. My grout is looking beautiful. So yeah, that's what I think about these two products and how we need to do this. I'm sorry, I'm like uh, doing a squat to get this shot and my legs are dying. So we need to end this video. And <laughs> if you like this video or you find it like useful and entertaining, please subscribe to my channel. I really enjoy what I'm doing and it's bringing me so much happiness to be able to like share with you guys all these tips and tricks and all these projects that I'm doing. I'll leave some comments below and give me some love and hit the like button, the subscribe button, the share button, all the buttons, all the buttons. Hit them at once. <laughs> I'll see you next week with my next project. See you later. Bye. Uy, oh, me mato. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm back. And I got a new ring. Look at this, look at this. Ooh, love, love, love. I'm looking at not the camera. Again, <laughs> you want my time, literally. This is for my birthday gift. I love it. Love. Um, we said what you were talking about. Okay, welcome to Sasa's Real.